So I'm Andrea Stapley, AVP of Security Operations, and I work at Sun Life. I've been here for the last four years. I look after globally the security architecture team, uh, engineering, and the two operations teams, so vulnerability management and incident investigations. How I, I would explain cybersecurity to students that know nothing about the industry, it's a very exciting, fast-paced career. There's lots of opportunities to uh, do teaching roles, you know, when you're, you're trying to raise awareness about security and how to protect the systems in your day-to-day -day job, as well as project work to build the security systems, um, engineering and design uh, of building and, and working on projects, and, um, and lastly the operations piece, which is a very exciting role uh, where the, the um, analysts are always working to protect the organization from the bad guys. So the systems that we build are really monitoring for uh, malicious behavior and, and it allows us to respond in an automated way and be able to block those attacks, uh, detect those attacks, and respond accordingly. So the biggest misconception would be that it's a, a techie role and really that it, it might be a boring day job. It's anything but that. We're working with people every day, you know, solving challenging problems and uh, really doing an important role that protects the organization. When I talk to young students, uh, that I'm mentoring or working with, they're always surprised by the variety of jobs in cybersecurity. You know, we do everything from teaching and security awareness, application, network security, physical security. Uh, you know, we work with law enforcement in a lot of cases, all the way to, you know, very technical architecture and engineering type of roles, building systems. You know, we have a big talent shortage in, in cybersecurity that we're trying to solve. By 2020, um, there will be an estimated almost 2 million jobs that will be posted in cyber and, and unfilled as a result of that skill shortage. The other aspect to it is the, the gender gap. Only 1% of uh, females are actually in management cyber positions. So I think we have a lot of opportunity to um, get the word out there about the, you know, the career opportunities that are in this field and how we can you know, really uh, lessen that gap and encourage young women uh, and, and women that maybe wanted career change uh, you know, to, to consider a job in, in cybersecurity. So really we see a variety of, yes, you can have you know, computer engineering, uh, computer science, math. Uh, math is very popular now with all of the artificial intelligence, the data analytics that's happening that we're seeing in the industry. So math degrees are, are important to be able to analyze that data. Being able to communicate and write communications out to the organization, being able to communicate to a large group of people and train them. So, you know, the, the BAs are really good as well. So it's all walks of life really is, is what I see. It's a wide range.